is up everybody how's it going hello this is the second of an installation or maybe it's the third of an installation stream that we're doing so that's kind of cool hopefully we can knock this out way quicker than the glocky boy upgrades those upgrades were definitely new to me they were things that like i had never done before so um, i'm excited to to do something I actually know, high kappas are like more my bread and butter. I understand them just a little bit better. So first we have the short show kit and it comes with so many buffers. Like I could literally put this on like three of my guns. This is enough buffers for like three setups or to do one and have backups and be like responsible. But um, we have these yellow buffers, which are just a little bit softer than the black ones. They're also a little bit thicker. And then the black ones, which are, like I said, harder and thinner. Uh, these metal washers are just going to help us separate between the spring and the buffers. We're probably only going to put a couple of these in, but I think it's going to make the insides look really pretty. This is my third custom build, but my favorite by far. I'm actually almost most excited for the recoil spring. But before we get to that, I want to show you guys these grip screws so you can see on um, my high kappa right now there's currently these like gold grip screws which they cute they cute you know they they tie the build together i guess that's nice but we got these beautiful special new oh my god would you just would you just look at that would you just look at those colors oh my gosh that just far, look at it far it's not perfect just look at it uh, so this is the new spring, beautiful. I think I have a 140 already in there, just like Wolfie had in his. Was it Wolfie? Sorry. Yeah. Um, I got it at the I got it at the field because mine broke. There we go. All right, guys, what should we do first? The the grippy screws? I think so, since <laughs> since I know it's gonna be one of the easiest parts, and I'd like to just get something on there. Feel accomplished, you know. Noise. Alrighty, boom. Uh, we're not seated properly, so let's just get a little bit of pressure in there. There we go. Hold on, I forgot to show you guys. We also got these brand new bottles of lube. Um, this lube is only for the airsoft gun, but the best part about it is on the back, Mr. Waldo himself has actually let us know what each lube is for. So because each of these have a different consistency, we have the thinnest, the medium, oh wait, yep, the thinnest, the medium, and then the thickest, with thick, <laughs> um, they can actually be used for different things. So if something needs to be lubed but meet tolerances, we can use the thick because that's going to help us add like a little bit of extra material, keep it from wiggling. Uh, we can use the middle, which I think is the more common, something that most people already use. And then we have the thinnest. So they all have different kinds of uses, which is really cool. So now we get into the next part. So the two things that we are going to install next are going to be a replacement for this ring and replacements for these buffers. Um, okay guys, so this is what we're gonna go with after watching his video. This is the first setup that he recommends. So we're gonna go with it. We'll see how it shoots. I'm pretty excited. Bop, 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 a little squishies, and then boom. So this is gonna be really, really, really simple. We're getting rid of this. Get out of here. We don't want you anymore. We're getting rid of these. But I am gonna keep this washer for sure, just in case I end up like putting some of these other buffers on a different build. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and do what he said. The, the cool thing about this guide rod is it already got a little bit of short stroke in it um, and it's got a spring system so this moves independently of the whole guide rod. I think this might be too much guys. We might not need this much short stroke but <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, I hope this will work. I'm not really sure to be, to be entirely honest. get a good grip on it so I can just put her in there. Thank you so much Joey for following. Boom! We got it in first try. That was easy. 
<laughs> um, she looks thick, guys. I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to take it out. <laughs> that looks pretty thick. When <laughs> the short show comes up <laughs> already, she looks real fucking thick. So <laughs> let's see if we can even get it back on the guy. This is how far back we're going. It could work. I would just need to shave the nub off of um off of this. All right, so. <laughs> We just need to file off the little nub, so. I love you, nub. I'm sorry. I think I didn't do it enough. Yeah, it just needs a little bit more. Y'all, I don't want to shave more of this nub. I really don't. I'm so anxious. <laughs> I don't want to fuck it, but I'm going to fuck it. Oh, yeah, I fucking did it. Sorry, I was so excited. Um, yeah, I didn't want to like file it down anymore, but I think it just needed a little bit of tap in. So, boom, she's tapped in. And now she's not falling out. Done! Easy peasy. So let's shoot it, I think. Alright, so we've got 277, 276, 277, 273. Pretty consistently, she fucking smacks, yo. She sounds great. I love you. It, it is very snappy. I think what I noticed, there is definitely a difference from how it was shooting before. And how it was shooting before, it was very, like, snappy. But everything felt so metallic and very, like, I don't know, harsh when, when everything was if you guys are interested, Extreme Tronics Boom has high cap specifically the 4.3 model, the one that I built on today, available on their website for order. You can go to extremetronics.com. Um, if you use coupon code SAM, you can get 15% off non map items. So anything that is not price protected, you can get 15% off of. Also, guys, make sure you go and check out Waldo Customs. Those are the parts that we installed today making it feel snappy and uh, like a lucky cloud. Okay, next up, we're just gonna go in and lube her up. This lube is ideal for the vast majority of all airsoft parts, not for human use. Please, don't have sex with this. Don't, it says that on every single bottle. Please don't have sex with this. <laughs> it's scented? No, it's fucking not. No, it's fucking not. I was like taking my time to open it. smells fucking good soap it really does that's dope i'm with it i think the medium is gonna be a good fit as even it says this lube is ideal for the vast majority of all airsoft parts so let's just start putting it on some parts just gonna start with how i usually start which is i put it in the common use areas of the frame and then I usually like to rub it in, but I think today we won't rub it in. We'll see, we'll see. Ooh. This applicator is actually, I was kind of nervous because I thought it was just really open and I was just gonna have like that kind of experience. But this applicator is fan fucking tastic. I'm gonna put a couple of dots on the bottom of the slide to keep her good condition. Sorry. This applicator is really freaking nice. Like, I don't mean to go crazy over lube or anything, but it's like really convenient. <gasps> I did it! I didn't even need the bag. Uh, okay, so we'll just dry fire it some more. It feels fucking great. That lube feels fantastic. So let's just dry fire it a couple more times. Ooh, it 
feels great. It feels fucking fantastic. The lube has definitely helped it. Um, it feels really smooth. It feels like I'm fucking shooting clouds, bro. Like, the, I think it's the spring with the uh, short strokes together. Like, it feels like I'm shooting fucking like marshmallows out of this thing. It feels so smooth, but I know it hit, it's hitting snappy because um, if you guys remember, we saw like high 270s almost 280 with two fives and that's pretty good guys huge shout out to waldo thank you for being in the chat and thank you for sponsoring today's stream because without you we would not have had all of the loops to fill and parts to install so thank you very much also huge shout out to extreme tronics for providing the base for three uh this is a custom build that i did in, in teamwork with them so i'm really glad that i get to put even better parts on it and keep making it something that is field ready Something that I feel comfortable using on the field. It's really good. 